Oh, it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, he died on the cross. And I know it was the blood for me. They marched him up that hill. Marched him up that hill. They marched him up that hill for me. One day when I was lost, he died on the cross. I know it was the blood for me. They nailed him to that cross. They nailed him to that cross. They nailed him to that cross for me. One day when I was lost, he died on the cross. I know it was the blood for me. They pierced him in his side. They pierced him in the side. They pierced him in the side for me. One day Father, for that we say thank you, thank Heavenly Father. You, 
Master, be with New Light Ebenezer Lord, Baptist Lord, Church, Heavenly Father. Lord, Lord. Be with us, the members, the families here that have represented yeah, yeah. individually and collectively, Lord, Heavenly Father. Lord. Heavenly Father, someone is asking for a blessing, Heavenly Lord, Father. Yeah. Heavenly Father, I know when praises go up, Heavenly yeah. Father, when blessings come down. Yeah. Master, right now, we want to send out all the praises Lord, up, Heavenly Father. Lord. Those who are asking for a blessing, Heavenly Father, yeah. we ask that you grant it in your name, Heavenly Lord. Father. Thank you for being the God that you are, Heavenly Father. Thank you for being that God that we can call on 24 hours a day, Heavenly Father. All we got to do is get on our knees, Heavenly Father. Look upon the hills who come with our help, Heavenly Father. And it's because of you that that's where all our help comes from. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, man. Heavenly Father, we also pray for all of our auxiliaries, Heavenly Father. Continue to strengthen us, Heavenly Father. Keep us on one accord, Heavenly Father. Everything that we do, Heavenly Father, we ask that we do it in your name. Yes. Yeah, That's pleasing yeah. to your sight, Heavenly Father. Uh-huh. Be with our choir today, Heavenly yeah. Father. Yeah. It's going to sing yeah. Zion songs upon high, Heavenly Father. Uh-huh. Yeah. And we also pray for our musicians, Heavenly yeah. Father. Continue yeah. to strengthen them, strengthen them as well, Heavenly what? Father. Yes. Master, we also want to send a special prayer out to our associate ministers, Lord, Heavenly Father. Yeah. Continue yeah. to strengthen them, Heavenly Father. Continue to, have to, continue to have to praise your name, Heavenly yeah. Father. Yeah. Preach your yeah. word in season and out of season, Lord, Heavenly Father. Lord. And Father, we ask you to be with our leader, Heavenly yeah. Father. Yeah. Continue yeah. to strengthen yeah. him, Heavenly yeah. Father. Yeah. Yeah. Let him lead yeah. your flock, let your flock, Heavenly Father. Yeah. Lord. Lord. Heavenly Father, he needs strength, Heavenly Father, as we all do, Heavenly yeah. Father. Yeah. So we thank you, Heavenly yeah. Father. Yeah. Heavenly Father, give us Get us up, clean us up, Heavenly Father. Uh-huh. Please be with us, Lord. Oh, yeah, right, Let us be a king, a representative of your yeah. kingdom, Heavenly yeah. Father. Yeah. Let us go in this dark world, Heavenly Father. Uh-huh. Yeah. For this dark, let us be a light in this world, Heavenly yeah. Father. Yeah. And yeah. Master, we want to pray for our teachers, Heavenly Father, yeah. our students. What yeah. used to be a safe yeah. haven, Heavenly Father, uh-huh. in our schools, Heavenly Father, has now turned into a battlefield, Heavenly yeah. Father. Yes. Lord, protect them and bless them. Please, Lord. Yes. Heavenly Father, you have the eye on the way, Heavenly Father. Yeah. Lord, be with us and guide us, Heavenly Please, Father. Lord. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Heavenly Father, for everything Thank that you've done, Heavenly Thank Father, you. and everything you. that you'll continue to do, Heavenly uh-huh. Father. Uh-huh. Heavenly Father, when we prayed our last prayer, Heavenly well, Father, well, when we well. sang our last song, uh-huh. Master, we ask you to well. save us a place somewhere in your kingdom, somewhere. Heavenly Father. Yeah. 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 Well, every day, Heavenly Father, be howdy, howdy. Yeah. No more goodbyes, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Cross us safely on the other Please side, Heavenly Father, yeah. where we go from time to eternity. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Be with us today yeah. in the only hour, Heavenly yeah. Father, yeah. where we may praise your name forever. Yeah. In the strong name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Let's all say amen. 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 Thank God for the deacons. Amen. amen. Let us stand for our congregational song. Amen. Lift him up.
brings us to our scripture reading for today. It will come from uh, the 1st Corinthians, the 11th chapter, verse starting with verse 23. Everybody got it? 1st Corinthians, 11th chapter, uh, verse 23. For I have received of the Lord what that which also I deliver unto you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. Mm -hmm. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take ye, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. And after the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, mm -hmm. saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Mm -hmm. Verse 26. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, do show the Lord's death till he come. Last verse, wherefore? Whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the, the Lord. Amen. May God add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers Amen. of his word. Amen. Brother Miller will come at this time. Shall we pray? Yeah. Yeah. Our Father. Our Father. Our Father. Yeah. Yeah. Is at this time we come as humble as we know how. For we come realizing that it wasn't our goodness. No good deed that we done. No. Nothing we said. No. But it was you. That on this day you decided to awaken us. Thank you. On this day you decided to clothe us in our right mind. On this day, you decided to give us just what we needed. You gave us your grace. Unmerited favor. You gave your, your love that in spite of our faults, you love us anyhow. You gave us your presence because yeah. early this morning we felt the tuggle yeah. of your Holy Spirit. Lord God, we pause because this world is in a rampage of running. Yeah. Running away from you. This world is in a rampage of destruction. Yes. Trying to destroy everything that you created. Yeah. This world is in a bag of hatred. Uh -huh. Everywhere you turn, somebody is demonstrating hatred instead of love. Yes. But thank you Thanks. for the church. Yes. Thank you. Man didn't build it. And man can't destroy it. For your son said, upon this rock I'll build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. 
And Lord God, we be honest with you. Every time we run into a brick wall, All right. the church has been our haven. All right. Every time we've fallen down to our lowest, the church has been our haven. Thank you for allowing us to be here today. We've heard the firm prayers of the deacon. We see the ushers. We see the members. We hear the sweet sound of the music. We see the musicians. We see the choir. We see the preachers. We see our pastor. We say thank you. Those who wanted to be here, Lord, we ask you to touch them right now. There's some some spouses right now that's not here but you able to be where they are and touch them right now with your word touch them right now with your love touch them you know who they are we don't have to call them by name you know but Lord this is your house we pray now for this house we pray for the outside all the way around From the bottom of the brick to the top of the shingles, to the left, to the right, to the front, to the back, we pray for your house. We know there are those who are just hanging around, but they have no intention of doing good. We know those who are camping around, but they have no intention of doing good. We pray for your house. I didn't say it, you said it. You never slumber, never. nor sleep. Never. And right now, there's someone in the office that got the paperwork to help these homeless be homeless no more. And the only person I know that can make a pen right, Lord, that needs to write is you. All right. Touch her right now. Let her when she's riding in her car see what the damage has been done. And fix it. Uh Fix it. In the name of Jesus, fix it. Now have thy own way. In the precious power name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let us all say amen. amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. Amen. At this time, I will announce the clerk of God. Good morning, New Life. I was glad, I was glad, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. To Pastor McCormick, to the ministers on the roster, to the deacons, Christian family and friends. Today, Sunday, the first Sunday of September, September 3rd, 2023, and these are our announcements. Sunday, 9.30 a.m., Sunday School, Deacon Bryant. Wednesdays, 12 noon, Bible study, Pastor McCormick. Thursday, 7 p.m., choir rehearsal. Youth meeting will be this Saturday at 10.30, Sister Harris, and immediately following, there will be youth choir rehearsal at 12 noon, Brother McKinley. Mm -hmm. This is also a reminder to please bring your monthly donations of non-perishable food items to the church to be distributed to the Central Texas Food Bank. Amen. There will be also a sisterhood class Tuesday, 6 p.m., Sister Allen. Amen. And let's see, do we have any birthdays for this month? Amen. I know we have PJ. Brother, 
Wedding anniversaries, any, any anniversaries this month? Okay. And do we happen to have any visitors in the house? Do you like to have any words? I'm just happy to be here. My second time coming and enjoying this service. Amen. All right. Well, welcome, welcome here at the New Life. Missionary Baptist Church, there's a standing invitation to you each week. Pastor Joseph C. McCormick and the members of the New Light are glad that you have chosen to worship with us today. We trust that something may have been said or done that will strengthen your life. And may God be with you and come back and visit with us again. Rhonda Miller, Assistant Announcing Clerk, Pastor Joseph C. McCormick, Pastor. Amen. 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 Let us say amen again. Amen. We thank God for our announcing clerk. Amen. This time we will hear from our pastor. Amen. Amen. Good morning, New Light. Good morning. Good morning, New Light. Good morning. Good morning, New Light. Good morning. Amen. Good to be in the house of the Lord. Good to be able to see you this morning. Amen. Deacon Bryant, happy birthday to you, sir. Amen. amen. I saw you jump up there and just all stuck out. Is this that another? Every time I put a knock, I'm praying. <laughs> Amen. 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 Nothing, nothing wrong with that at all. Amen. Nothing Amen. wrong with that at all. Let me uh, welcome all of our guests, those who are watching us virtually, as well as Amen. those who are in with us personally. Amen. Good to see you back again. Come on back as many times as you'd Amen. like. Join Amen. whenever you get a chance. And uh, please feel welcome, welcome, and welcome again. Amen. Amen. Is there anything we can do in particular, let us know. Amen. So, uh, yes, so, so good to see everybody this morning. I see our youth are here today as well. And Amen. got a chance to see them in the back back there and um, going through Sunday school. And so it's always good to see them uh, in the house of the Lord. Amen. I've, um, thank you for, to our deacons uh, who have um, um, uh, been patrolling our uh, Premises. Amen. We have um, we have someone who is who is hanging out but don't want to come in. Amen. And Amen. Uh, and so uh, I'm I'm doing more um, drive-bys myself Amen. throughout the week. And so uh, we are watching and, and that type of thing. Nothing's happening other than just stuff laid out and stuff like that. But uh, someone's uh, partaking and sleeping near here or on campus at night. But. That's okay. Uh, we we're gonna we're gonna work on that. As, as the, and, the, and the deacons are already all over it. So Amen. so and trustees, excuse me, as well. Trustees as well. So that's that's always uh, always good. Uh, we're gonna uh, and if we get a chance, we're gonna invite that person in and see if they really if they really want to hang out. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We're gonna see if they really want to hang out. You know. Yeah. yeah. You know. And so uh, yeah, give them what's us says Amen. the Lord. Amen. Amen. Um, on the 17th, uh, we have our anniversary. Amen. Looking forward to that, our 56th year. Looking forward to that. Uh, uh, Pastor Moore from the, uh, just up the way here is going to be with us, and he is going, he is ready, and he is able, quite able to uh, extend and provide uh, a ready sermon for us, and I'm excited about the fact that he's going to be here. Amen. It's going to be really, really good. You can go ahead and let those folk on in if you'd like. Come, come on in. Amen. 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 All righty. I think we're at, um, unless I'm forgetting something, it's just Alan and my. Okay. Yes, yes sir. About $75 per family for anniversary service? $75 per family is what the leadership is asking for us to contribute for the anniversary. $75 per family, okay. Uh, and uh, that's going to help to defray the cost uh, of, uh, of those things that we have, uh, that are being planned to do by the program committee. Amen. And so that's uh, uh, something that uh, we're asking for those who can to do. Amen. Amen. 
And uh, all, all of us are going to contribute into that. Amen. 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 In some form or fashion. If you can't do 75, do what you can. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Do what you can. You know, so yeah. that's, that's always, uh, always a uh, good in endeavor. Amen. Now we're up to our point in time where we have intercessory prayer. Um, always, I always like to recite um, these two passages because right after intercessory prayer, we have an opportunity for everybody to be able to contribute, uh, to, to participate and contribute within our, uh, in what we do. Uh, bring ye all the tithes into the, into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house. And prove me not herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there should not be room enough to receive it. Malachi 3 and 10. And then it says, be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. That's Philippians 4 and 6. Amen. And it's, at this time, we always invite those who want to come forward for prayer. Uh, this is intercessory prayer. Amen. Uh, you can come forward and stand down here, and we will uh, pray. Amen. Um, and uh, we will. Amen. 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 That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Everybody's in need of prayer. In some form or fashion, everybody's in need of prayer. When, all you got to do is just think about it for a moment. Amen. 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 Go ahead. Come on. forgives our Father who art in heaven thank you O Lord for today first we want to talk about today for waking us up in our right mind and being enabled to be able to walk may not be able to run but we're able to walk dear Lord and clothe ourselves and feed ourselves and 
have a mind to go to the house of the Lord. And you've helped us make our way here today. And now we're in your house. And we say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for the fact that we woke up this morning and it didn't, didn't have any bad news have phone calls that we didn't want to hear we left the house in a safe manner dear Lord there's someone who didn't wake up this morning there's someone who woke up but didn't feel good this morning Someone who woke up, didn't feel good, and didn't didn't leave the house. Maybe someone who woke up, didn't feel good, didn't leave the house, and didn't leave the bed either. Lord, we're praying for all our sick and shut in. All those who are in the hospital being treated by medical facilities, those who were in the hospital and are now out, Heavenly Father, we say thank you. Lord, we pray for every person here, every member and every visitor those in person and those virtual the Lord we pray for those who are standing before this podium here each person in their own way the Lord came forward and asked you for some kind of blessing we ask you Lord to bless them in whatever way that you see fit leave no stone unturned we'll give you all the benefit and all the glory the Lord Heavenly Father we pray for this nation and all who lead it in the various political locations the Senate and the House Vice President President and all those then the state of Texas as well Pray for the governor, the lieutenant governor, and all those working in the state buildings. We pray for those at the county level. Uh -huh. County judge, county seat, commissioner's court, county employees. As well as those at the city hall, the city of Austin, the mayor and city council and all city employees. We lift up, dear Lord, all badged officers, those wearing a badge and wearing a gun. And even those that are not wearing a gun, dear Lord, they still have authority over somebody and still can leverage, dear Lord. And we're just asking, dear Lord, to be with them. Be within them. Strengthen their hearts, dear Lord. Strengthen their compassion. Strengthen their, their eyesight so they can, they see clearly, Heavenly Father, without fault or without discrimination. Lord, thank you for new light. Thank you for our board of officers who lead. Thank you for our choir sing sign songs and yeah. our musicians who, who support them and they follow them. Thank you Lord for our usher board. Help us get to where we need to be at within the confines of our sanctuary. Thank you Lord for those who work with us on technology. Those who teach 
with y'all Sunday schools and Bible schools and whatever that may be. Those who are supporting as the superintendent does and assistant superintendent does. Keeping us on the right track. Please, Lord. Lord, we pray for our deacons, for our deacons and all yes. our deacons, Heavenly Father. All our trustees. Uh-huh. We lift them up, Heavenly Father. Please, all of our ministers, Heavenly Father. Yes. Those that are here, those wherever they may be at, Heavenly uh-huh. Father. Thank you, the Lord, for them. Thank you. The Lord, I might have forgotten someone, Heavenly Father, and I don't know right now if I have. But the Lord charge it to my head and not my heart. We pray for everybody in the sound of my voice. And everybody who is a member who have not come back, who was a member, who want to be a member, we pray for them all. Thank you, Lord, for all that you do. Thank you. Now, dear Lord, for those who will contribute tithes and offerings. We thank you for them. We thank you for those who want to contribute but don't have it. And then, dear Lord, we leave to you uh, those who have not found it obedient within themselves to be obedient to your word. We leave them up to you. But we still pray for them. Thank you, dear Lord, for what you have done so far in this service. As you continue blessings upon us as we go up a little higher. Yes. In the name of your darling son, Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. 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 We're in the hands of our ushers who will give us instructions with regard to our tithes and offerings. After then, we'll come back after the choirs led us in a few songs. Thank you so much.
Amen. Aren't you glad that the blood still works? Amen. Aren't you glad that the blood still works? Amen. 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 I am glad the blood still works. Amen. All righty. As you know, uh, we've been in the middle of a series mostly entitled Overcoming. Mm -hmm. And let me say now, thank you to those who have sent word by message or text or email uh, thanking, um, for, thanking me for the series. Amen. Amen. I'm glad that the words of, that have, uh, came from inspiration were of help to you and that we've been benefited yes. by the subject matter. Amen. So we're still in 1 John chapter 5. Again, this is part three of a three-part uh, yeah. yeah. series. Mm -hmm. Still at verse 4. 1 John Chapter 5, verse 4. First John, chapter 5, verse 4. Okay, and it reads this why. It says, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God? That ends the reading of the word. Amen. Right Amen. there. Ends the reading of the word. Amen. Amen. Title of today's text, Overcoming the Wiles of the Kingdom of Satan. Overcoming the wiles of the kingdom of Satan. Yes, yes. Mm. We've been talking about uh, overcoming the world system. Yeah, yeah. And looking at how we fit within it. Mm -hmm. It is an enemy of ours. Mm -hmm. We've also been. Um, talking about uh, overcoming the flesh. Mm -hmm. It is also it is also a enemy of ours. Yes. Now some of us say, well, you know, how can my own flesh be an enemy? Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, let me quickly say yes. Um, because it wants to do what it wants to do. Right, right, right. And not necessarily what God wants to do. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. But then there is Satan. Mm -hmm. uh, and then whenever we start to talk about Satan, we understand that there's conflict. Yes, yes. Conflict in the overcoming of Satan and all of the wiles, all of the things that Satan does. Yes. The verb overcoming implies a battle between two opposing sides, mm -hmm. the forces of the wicked and the forces of the believers. Yes. Looking at James 3 and 15 where it says again, James told his readers that the bitter jealousy and selfish ambition among them from above was in part demonic. Mm. And we know that the devil, his mind, is certainly not on gratifying us 
right. in a way that would be helpful to us. Christians have talked about this for so long. Uh, we know that the devil comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. Did you know that now uh, the devil has a wanted list? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he carries a wanted list. If you're ninety eight point six ninety eight point six temperature. And you're breathing. Yeah. You're on the list. All right. Yes. Yes. Not even whether you're a believer or not. Come on, man. He's an equal opportunist. <laughs> Come on, yes, sir. Anybody can get on his list. Yeah. Believer or non believer. Mm. Now he has fun with the non believers. All right, yeah. They're all on the same team. Uh -huh. well, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all on the same team. Uh -huh. uh, but 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 then the non-believers, he really wants to treat uh, to deal with them because he is um, he's a little upset about being kicked out of heaven. And and the fact that he didn't get a chance to rule like he wanted to rule. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so he has something for them. Yes. He has something for them. Uh, and so we must understand that uh, we cannot ignore Satan and his kingdom. He has allies. He has allies. He has allies that are that are that that help him. They're they're, they're demonic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Demons are very, are really angels. Yes. They're just fallen angels. All right. All right. Come on. Yeah. Um and if we think that our angels are powerful, mm -hmm. then don't run past the fact that the demons are powerful because they're the Come same. On. Come on. Uh -huh. yeah. They just Say took it. a different path. Say uh -huh. Say they took a different path. Uh -huh. yes. right. Demons attempt to harm believers, not just uh, with messing with uh, their minds or messing with this. Or the demons are, they can work through nature. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, yeah. Ephesians 2 and 2. Uh -huh. yeah. Demons can work through illness. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. Second Corinthians 12 and 7. Oh, yeah. yeah. Demons can work through mental illness. Yes. Uh -huh. Demons can work through suicide. Uh -huh. Yes. Mark 9 and 14 through 29. Yes. And then demons can work through, don't miss this, don't miss this, don't miss this, don't miss this. Don't miss this. Yeah. Demons can work through people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just in case you hadn't heard, yeah. just in case you hadn't heard that, yeah. Yeah. Just, I mean, I'm, I'm just, you know, I, I, just in case you hadn't heard, yeah. demons can work through people. No respect of age. No, that's it. That's it. Not at all. Anybody. Yeah, they don't have no respect of age. Uh, it, it's, it's all good and well for them. Yeah. Young, old, uh -huh. middle age. Yeah. 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 Yes. Whoever they can walk beside and sit beside and nudge and smile at and and, 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 and cooperate with and, and influence whoever they can. That make them no. That make them no different. Every trouble we face in life is not caused, though, by the devil or demon. That's right. As we have seen, some of it just uh, some of it's about the world system, and some of it is, is in, in our honesty, is about us getting us in trouble. Yes. Right. All right. It, 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 you know, 
uh, the devil is sure to mess with, uh, 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 well, I'd like to say, with my, with my situation, I got, I'm having some car problems. Mm -hmm. And I like to blame it on the devil. All right. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> It, it, it would be a nice, nice little neat excuse. <laughs> Can I be honest with you? Can I be honest with you? It, it even thought, the, the, the thought occurred to me that since I'm not going to have a car on Tuesday, that maybe I might just cancel Bible study on Wednesday. Perfect, uh, perfect. Come on. The devil's, yeah, yeah. He, 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. The devil said, yeah, 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 now you get it, now you get it. Uh, God give me strength. Wednesday, 12 noon. I may not know how I'm going to get here. I might be crawling to the hot sun. I might be not be looking well, but I'm going to be here if God gives me strength. No, it, it, we, you know, we, 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 we the, 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 the devil, the devil, the devil. Uh, he's busy. He's busy. He's busy. Amen. You know, he got a lot. He, he, he gets into anybody and everybody on every kind of continent. No, no, matter, no matter what tongue they speak, no matter what, how they look, no matter how they dance or don't dance, no matter whether they're Christian or not, it, he's with everybody. Ah, we need to be aware of it. Uh -huh. We need to not only be fighting the world system and not only be fighting our flesh, but we need to be fighting the demonic spirits that are there, that are happening in places that we can't see. Uh -huh. No, we can't see him. Uh -huh. Oh, we can't see him and we can't see the demons either. Uh -huh. but, but if you've been in this world a little bit, you can pick up on uh -huh. yes. You know, or you can, you know, you, you can, we can kind of have a, a sense that uh, something's off, somebody's off, or somebody, you know, somebody's, somebody's walking closer on that side than on, on this side. Lord have mercy. C.S. Lewis wrote that one of the fact, tactics of the devil uh, and demons, as he, as he calls it, is to, is to give us uh, an, anest an anesthetic. He'll leave you alone for a good while so that you just kind of you relax. Oh, you know, I can, you, I can breathe now. I don't have to worry as much. You know, I can kind of relax. You know what I'm I, I can just. That's where he wants you at. He wants you with all of your guard down. You're right. Uh, and so, so you, you can be effective against an enemy you aren't aware of. Okay? In other words, it, 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 he can be effective if, he's, if we're not aware of where he's at. And if, we're not, if we're relaxed and not on guard. If, 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 if our belief system has been in the slightly in the, in the least bit tainted. In the least bit. He, he, that's, when he, that's where he wants you at. He wants you positioned so that when he comes, he can get in real deep. He, 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 he can get in real deep. Uh, there, it says uh, that, that uh, in Ephesians 6 and 13, goes on to say, that, therefore, because we are facing the real spiritual and uh, real spiritual enemy every day, you need to take up the full armor of God. If you knew that you were going to face a physical enemy, yes. as soon as you stepped out of the house uh -huh. in the morning, right. you'd prepare, uh -huh. wouldn't you? Yeah. I mean, yeah. wouldn't, you, wouldn't you prepare? Yeah. If you knew you were going to meet yeah. a physical enemy outside yeah. in the morning before you stepped out, you, 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 you'd prepare. The same tactic we take with that uh -huh. is the same tactic we need to take with the one who we can't see. That's right. Come on, man. Yeah. 
So when you get up in the morning, you got to get prayed up. Yes. For the one that you can't see. Yes. That's waiting on you outside. Yes. Oh, oh, wait, oh, maybe let me add this point. That's waiting on you, maybe inside. Yes. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying. 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 It could be. It could. It could be already inside. The, the influence, the effect, could already be inside. It, it could be already working on the inside. Why you were sleeping all night last night? You were sleeping your slumber, and, and, and the angels were running around you. But the, the, the enemy could have been working on somebody in another room, or, or whatever it is. Don't take me one word. Don't take, but just just a little bit to get you off where you need to be at. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, the Bible says that there's. There definitely are spiritual forces of wickedness which are warring against us every day. Every day, every hour, every minute, every second, there are spiritual forces working against us. We need to remember that and, and realize. A pastor was reading a book of interviews of U.S. soldiers from World War II who share their memories from the war. One of the most dramatic uh, so far was by Peter Bessick, an infantry, infantryman from Chicago. He went on to the Philippines where he and his unit were being relieved after several days in foxholes um, on the front line. On his way back, though, he came under fire by a sniper. Every time he tried to move, a bullet would hit close by. Um, so so he, he, he got down into the lowest depression in the ground he could. He stayed low. He finally put his helmet on a stick and leaned it in one way and then took off crawling the other way. And he wrinkled himself away and out of the sight of the sniper. He knew he had an enemy who actively had him in his sights uh -huh. and was trying to kill him. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect, sir. Can I ask you a question? Talk to it. Do you know that the, there's a sniper that's got crosshairs on you, Amen. on your children, uh -huh. on your mama, yeah. on your daddy, yeah. on your, your neighbors, yeah. on your family members, on your church members? Yeah. The sniper has got them in crosshairs. Yeah. All right. Is that right? The sniper. You and I need to realize that we have an enemy who's doing the same thing uh, against us. He has us in his sights and he is trying to kill us spiritually. And he is after us every day. But most of us don't realize it. We go along thinking everything's okay. Why? Because we've been anesthetized. Thinking that everything's all right. Everything's okay. You can relax now. I'm, you know, I'm down the street messing with Johnny. Don't you worry about it. I'm down the street. I'm, I'm, I'm five doors down. Don't even worry about it. I'm, I'm going that direction. You up here. I'm going that direction. Maybe it's because we can't see our enemy and we can't see the darts that have, that have been thrown against us, that are hurled against us, and the arrows and uh, the fear and, and the anxiety, the, the discouragement, all of that is coming at us. It creates doubt, it creates temptation, it creates false doctrine, and it creates thoughts, and, yeah. and all the spiritual oppression he hits us with. Uh -huh. You aren't just feeling these things, just, uh, just they, they, they are real. Uh -huh. uh, yes, and, and, and many of us know them very well. 
Yeah. They, they, these things are real. But he has some things to do with it. Okay? And we have to understand that he's, 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 he's engaged in battle. He knows he's in battle. We forget we're in battle. The Bible says there is a real spiritual enemy opposing us. And because of that, we've got to be serious about our living conditions. There's a sniper after you uh, every day. You need to be uh, a serious, uh, uh, a serious and consistent in putting your spiritual armor on, like the Word of God, and in prayer uh, every morning, like Peter Bessick did, putting the helmet over here and slipping out the other way. Yeah. Whatever you can use to protect you, yeah. being cunning about the fact that you know he's trying to snipe you out the way. Uh-huh. You got to get up and get on God's, getting God's word uh-huh. in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. And let God's yeah. word get into you every morning. Yes. And pray yeah. and those kinds of things. Yes. Huh? Uh, you you yourself sung this morning, the blood. So how do I get, how, what, what protects me? What, 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 what protects me when I'm not looking? <laughs> you know, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm, you know, I'm, I'm relaxed, I'm laid back, I'm chill. You know. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, the, it's the blood. It's, it's, it's the, the blood on the cross. Amen. That's the first. Amen. Blood on the cross. It's the perpetuation for sins of mankind, yes. right? Yes. Uh, Revelations uh, uh, 12 and 11 says, and they came, overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. yes, sir. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb by proclaiming salvation to sinners through Christ crucified. Uh-huh. The power to overcome and overwhelm the kingdom of Satan is found exclusively in the blood of the sacrifice of the Son of God. Yeah. The world devalues the blood of Christ. Yeah. But heaven values the blood of Christ yeah. greatly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The blood of the Lamb is ever the fortress for saints. Yeah. Yeah. The blood of the Lamb, right? Without uh, the atoning blood, Satan's accusations about you, uh-huh. guess what? There, there's no defense. All right. 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 There's, no, there's no defense. Mm-hmm. And so, he, the, so his accusations become real uh-huh. because there's no defense without the atoning. It says, uh, for, for the kingdom of God is not in word but in power. Uh-huh. Yeah. There is power where? In the blood. In, there's power in the blood. There's, there's, there's power in the blood. Yes. There's power, power in the blood. Uh, and then, 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 then my, my other point here is still in, in, in the Revelation uh, uh, 12 and 11 says, that, and, and, and by the word of their testimony, this is, this is really the book. This is by the word of their testimony. Yeah. This is really the book, uh, the book of their testimony. Uh, our phrasing of how we see. The cross can't be subject to being misquoted. We can't be we can't be manipulated to, to not look at the cross for what it is. Yes. It's not just two sticks. Just propped up just right, just so that the sun hits it. No, 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 no. No, no, no. It's not, it's it's it's, it's not that's where my sins got taken care of. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. See? Yeah. And, 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 that, and that's what got to be your testimony. Yeah. Because Satan's going to tell you, no, that's nothing. Don't worry about that. You know, I'll be back to talk to you in a few minutes. Don't, don't worry about that. Yes. <laughs> you, you know, by the word that test, by, by the testimony must pertain to the fact that the object of our faith is the cross. Amen. And it is exclusively the cross, which then gives us the Holy Spirit's latitude to what? Work within us. Yeah. Okay? The testimony was based on the word of God. There is no such thing as a testimony unless it is based on the word of God. Yes. The word of God is that which overcomes the enemy. 
But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always, what? To give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. First Peter 3 and 15. It's first Peter. Yes. Yes. You, 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 your, your, your testimony's got your testimony's got to be firm. Yes. Yes. It's got to be steadfast. Yes. Uh -huh. Immovable. Uh -huh. you, 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 you know what I'm saying? If the wind blows, that's all right. I'm, my, I'm, I'm, we let the wind blow. Yeah. Right. My my roots are deep. Yeah. I'm planted by the rivers of water. Yeah. That means my roots are deep. Yeah. I'm not just getting here. Uh -huh. I've been here a while, and the word of God is in me. Yeah. Who is in me is better than who is in the world. So, so our testimony must be steadfast. It must be steadfast. So we must hold on to God's what unchanging hand. And and and, 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 and so and so when, when 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 now if if a hand slip, if a hand slip, every now and then our hands will slip. But that's when Jesus comes along. Put them together. That's when Jesus comes along and puts them together. He keeps us in contact. Why? He, 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 he's our lawyer. He's our attorney. He's the one who say, I know Lord, I know them. And you, you sent me to die for them. And they're all right. They're going to be okay. Just, just, don't hold, just don't give up hope. Our testimony must be steadfast and must be firm. Uh, and we must, we must, we can, we can lean over. That's all right. Uh, just don't, just don't pull your roots up. Just to stay steadfast. Then third, then third, third, the third, I'll be, I'll be out of here. Then third, there's the body, okay? Uh, it says here, 11, uh, the, the, the third standard. It says, and they loved not their lives unto the death. Okay? That's 12, again, Revelation 12. In 11, and this is 11c, it says, and they love not their lives unto the death. This, they practice their loyalty yes. to the faith all the way, and they will say, I don't care if I die. All right. What did the Hebrew boys say? Mm. What did the three Hebrew boys say? Yeah. You, can put us in the, you, you can put us in the fire if you'd like, yeah. King okay. Sir. Yeah, we yeah you, we know you can do it, yeah. Yeah. And, and we'll just go on in there if we have to, yeah. you know. But 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 but, but we but we still not gonna bow. No, we we not gonna bow. No, because you you you're not who it is. You're not who you think you are. And we know who who he is. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and so that's the kind of steadfastness. That's the kind of loyalty that you give your body. Yes. Your whole being, yes. everything about you, yes. head to toe, yes. for Christ. Because that's what he did for you. Yes. He, 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 he didn't leave something on the, you know, when he went to the cross, he didn't leave something on the side over here and say, well, I'll just leave this on the side because I, I know you ain't worth all of this. No, 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 no. He, no, he did the whole, everything, the whole life, everything. Yeah, he gave he gave all his royalty. He left it all up in heaven. Yeah. And he came down here, but yes. oh Lord, he gave it all up for you. Uh -huh. he, he, he gave it all up. He gave it all up. And so it says it says that, 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 that believers must not change their testimony regarding the cross to something else. That's right. Okay. That's right. I don't care if it's Buddha. I don't care if it's whoever you know whatever's out there. I, I, you know, I, you know, I, no, no, I, I, no, and 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 don't and don't 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 make your don't don't make Christ don't don't make your car Christ. Uh -huh. I, I, you know, I, I could I could kind of go there because I don't have one right now. I could I could be worshiping my you know what I'm saying? No, no. If I gotta walk, I gotta walk. Come on. Come on. Yeah, 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 don't make your house. Don't make your house you, 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 what you worship. Love your kids, love your kids, love them, but don't make them the, the, your worship. You, you, you know what I'm saying? God is a jealous God. He, 
He, he, he, he, don't, he, he, he don't take partial, he don't take partial payments. <laughs> and, he don't, and he don't like being double timed. <laughs> No two time him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, no, he, he, no. He, 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 he don't like that. Right. But yeah, but, but you, have to, you, you gotta be loyal, uh, and even if it's unto death, by being loyal to Christ, right? Even unto death, you are subject to being, uh, to being immediately taken care of. Uh-huh. Right? The consecration and the dedication of the finest order is to be in total and complete loyalty to Christ. Amen. It is the attitude that says one will do what God says to do even if it means one's life. Yes. Satan cannot defeat that attitude. No, 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 no. When you got an all in, uh-huh. so anybody been hit? Now don't raise your hand, don't raise your hand. Don't raise your hand. Anybody here been to Las Vegas? Oh yeah. And 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 you and 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 you went down to the bank and you know and you you made sure you had you know what I'm saying? You you need this much for the trip, right? For the trip. And 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 you know, and you and you got you know a little bit and and, uh, and you, you're itching to you try to <laughs> you're itching because over in that hotel that big that big hall you know they got a big old room in there you know what I'm saying uh-huh. and you just want to see what's in there right, right, right. you just want to see what's in there that's all you want to do is see what's in there yeah you just want to be in there and and and, and, and you see it and it seemed to be calling your name <laughs> you know whispering sweet nothings to you and, and, and you and you and you and you feel you feel compelled to answer the call. <laughs> you, and, and, and you go on in there, and, and so you in there, and then you, you you're looking for a comfortable place. Uh-huh. And your comfortable place may be is that is that the blackjack table? Is that what that is over there? Is that what they call that? <laughs> you know. We, we, we'll, we'll, we'll do whatever we take. We'll, we'll do whatever. You see what I'm saying? Uh, but, 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 but when you get there, when you get there, you know, sometimes you can get a hand, uh-huh. and your hand is so good, so good, uh-huh. so good. Work on, work on. That, that, that you feel confident uh-huh. that what you want to do now is, uh, uh-huh. oh, I want to push it all in yes, yes. on this hand right here, because this is the best hand you can have. All in. I, I'm, I'm all in. I'm not. No, 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 no chips. Put it, put, it put it all on the table. Yes, sir. And, and all in, right? Because you, 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 you just know what you've got. Yeah. That's the kind of commitment we need to have for God. Yes, sir. That's the kind of commitment we need to have for Christ because that's, that's what he did. He put it all in. He cast it all in. You know what I'm saying? We, we, that's the kind of commitment, the kind of steadfastness, yes. the kind of, you know, one mind, I mean, just th- that kind. Amen. But, but that's going to that's gonna help us not in the, in the, on, on the roulette table or uh, on the blackjack table. Uh, just, no, no, that's going to help us in heaven. Yeah, so see, just, 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 that's what's going to help us in heaven. For whoever so will save his life shall lose it. And whoever, whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Matthew 16 and 25. You need the spiritual protection every day. And so to do that people, uh, so, so, so do people who care about, uh, do the things that people know are right. Do the things that the Bible says is right. Okay, there is Understand that there is a sniper engaged in battle against you each and every day. Amen. Whether you in that big room or whether you at the hotel or whether you at home, uh-huh. it makes no difference there. Right, right. Okay. 
That's why it's crucial to read or rededicate your life or rededicate our lives to prayer for ourselves and our loved ones. Why? Because we are all subject and we are all in the eyesight, the, the crosshairs of the enemy. Amen. Because, Amen. We, because we are not at peace yes. and we are at war, yeah. we are to be in a protective position. Uh -huh. You know, one of the best positions to be in? Talk to us. The best position to be in in the morning, when you, when you, when you get up, it's on your knees. Yes, right. You know, it's the, clo it's, it's, the, it's the distance between your knees and the floor. Uh -huh. That's the best position to be in. Mm -hmm. uh, and, 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 and it'll get you in places, it'll, it'll help protect you on things that you, you haven't even had no doubt of. Right. right? You have no idea of. Uh -huh. We need to realize that we are at war. We need to fight the war with the power of God's Holy Spirit through the Word of God and prayer. Yes. Amen. Amen. The particular battle you are facing in your life right now may primarily be battle against the world mm -hmm. or just the world, or, you know, just the world system, mm -hmm. or it could be just your flesh. Yeah. But guess what? Sometimes it's all three. Yes. Uh -huh. The world system, uh -huh. your flesh, uh -huh. and Satan. Yes. Uh -huh. All on you at the same time. Yes. All three. Right? Mm -hmm. James 3 says, what, you know, they were all three against us. And the Hebrew boy said, they, they were all against us. Yes. Yeah. All this whole system was against us. Yes. Uh, and, and so we have to understand that these systems are not geared for us to be successful in heaven. Mm. Oh. They're geared for us to fail here on earth yes. so that we don't get to heaven. Yes. Understand? I, I, you you got to look at it, you gotta look at it in a, different, a number of different ways. Um, think about it this way. It, it, all three are ganging up on you. You, get, it, you walked outside and you got mugged all of a sudden. Three people mugged you. Mm -hmm. One from the world system. <laughs> One from your flesh. And then, the, and then the other was somebody that Satan sent, you know, yeah. a demon that Satan sent. That, 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 that's, how, that's how powerful, it, and it overwhelms you, right? Because it's more of them than, 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 than you want. It's all right. But greater is he yeah. that is in us yeah. than is who is in the world. Yes. I, 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 I wish I could pull that sermon out right. There's more with us uh -huh. that are with them. That's, that's, when the, that's when the prophet came out and his, and his uh, sidekick was saying, uh, you know, look out there. They're all out there. Yeah. And they're surrounded. We are surrounded by the enemy. And yeah. the enemy is, is about to get us. And the prophet said, fear not. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. Right. There's more that is with us than is with, yeah. than is with them. It's more than what it is. And so he had to close his eyes again so that he could see. Yes. And then open, eye, open his eyes again. And the last time he opened his eyes, uh -huh. that's when he saw Shekinah glory. Yes. Uh -huh. oh, yes. Around all of the enemy yes. <laughs> was heaven's angels yes. standing there ready yes. to take them on. Yes. Right? Yes. And, and, and see, that's how God, that's how God comes in on for you. Uh -huh. That's how he stands in your stead. That's how he's, he's working on your behalf, uh, is to be there for you. Yeah, we know it's a lot. It's, it's, it's being ganged up on. You, you can't win sometimes. But great is he who is in you, that is, in the world. Yeah. Don't despair. Yeah, if, if, if Jesus is your Savior, okay, now say if. If. You know, I don't, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes people say, oh, yeah, yeah. No. Mm. <laughs> If Jesus is your Savior, uh -huh. then, 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 then you've got to make him, uh, uh, you've got to show that he's your Savior. Yeah. You've got to do what is, what is correct, right? right, right, right. Uh, you need to make sure today, 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 today. if he's your Savior, uh -huh. then he's with you. Yeah. Yeah. If he's your Savior, then he's in you. Yeah. And if he's your Savior, he will what? He'll help you. Amen. Uh, you, got, you. You got to realize that the battle is real. Uh -huh. Then you got to respond by assuming your best position, which is on your knees. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then you got to recite and or read God's word into your life each and every day. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Then you got to request the Lord's spiritual protection through prayer and supplication. Yeah. Then you've got to request yourself in, uh, the, or put yourself, oh, I'm sorry, to redress yourself yes. in the armor of God. Yes. Uh, and then don't leave home without it. Yes. Then you've got to remember, you've got to remember who is in uh, you is greater yes. than who is in the world. Yes. Who is in you is the overcomer. Yes. Yeah, he, yeah, he's the overcomer. Yes. Yeah, he, he's been overcoming for a long time. Yes. That's why you've been being blessed all the time. Yes. Yeah, yeah, he's an overcomer. And, and, and so, but you, 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 but you got to be serious about it. You got to be serious about it. Uh, uh, the biggest thing some of us need to come uh, come away with today is that uh, is it, it, we, we have to stop thinking of, of this thing of being uh, uh, we can coast through life. We cannot coast through life as if nothing's happening, as if as if we all that and a bag of chips and a red soda water at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, we, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the red soda water, that's right. As much as I like it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, 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 we can't think of ourselves as being so, uh, you know, above the fray uh, that nothing's going to touch us. Uh, the way uh, you fight back is first in prayer, right? You pray not, uh, you pray right now, okay? Pray right now for yourself. Right? You all be praying now for yourself. Pray before you leave home. Pray after you leave home. Pray when you get to work. Pray after you leave work. Pray on the way to the grocery store. Pray on the way when you left the grocery store. Pray for your family. Pray for yourself. Pray for your neighbors. Pray for all the church folk. Pray for, I mean, you got to pray. And lift everybody up. And if everybody does the same thing, guess what? We're all being lifted up. That's a glorious day. That's a grand day. That's a day to be proud of. God helps you fight the battle against the wiles of the kingdom of Satan. Uh, ask him to help you uh, put your steps in the right order. Yeah. Uh, ask him to help you every morning to make sure you got your whole armor of God. Yeah. I don't want to just put on everything else and leave the helmet to the side. I need the helmet too. I don't want to just leave the breastplate to the side. That means my heart is exposed. I need the breastplate too. Help him. Help us to put it all on. Ask him to help you get up each morning and put your spirit, your arm of God on, and to help you memorize verses to what to keep you going through the day. Yes. Verses, scriptures to keep you going through the day. Those that help you when when you at your in, in your worst time sometimes yes. when you're not feeling real good. When you, you're in the office and someone then said something to you. Yeah, yeah, I need scriptures right now. I need something to recite to myself to keep myself on the straight and narrow. Uh, and then, and then pray that the world, uh, that the world doesn't get you. Okay, uh -huh. that, to pray that your flesh doesn't become your worst enemy. Uh -huh. And then pray that the devil uh, is put in his place and all of his demons yes. at the same time. Right? Yes, yes. You can, you can pretend to be an overcomer, but it takes more than pretentiousness. Yeah. You, you, you got to put the real work in. Right. You got to put the real work in, huh? It, 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 it's called spiritual protection. Yes, sir. You are an overcomer if you have made Jesus your Lord. Yeah, right. You are an overcomer if you've made Jesus, or if you believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Yeah. You are an overcomer uh, if you have made Jesus your Savior. Yeah. But you might not know why. It's all right. Uh -huh. my love, my love. You might not know why. It's all right. He's an overcomer. Uh -huh. He came down, what, 42 generations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, that in and of itself says he's an overcomer. That's right. Dawned on flesh. Uh -huh. So when he dawned flesh, guess what? There's nothing that we go through that he didn't know about after he got here and dawned on flesh. Disappointment, anger, discouragement, sickness, illness, mental illness, all of that. He understood all of that. Huh? And then, and, 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 and then he came down through those 42 generations and he came for a purpose. The purpose was to overcome uh, the human races, uh, their, their, their downfall. Yeah. Because they had sin kicked up all over them yeah. that they couldn't wrangle themselves out of. Right. Uh, they, I mean, they, I mean, we had sin and sin and then more sin. Yeah. Huh? He came down for a purpose to go to Calvary to take care of those sins. Yeah. And guess what? That's what he did. All right. 
That's what he did. He taught. He recruited twelve disciples. Right? Uh, he, 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 taught, uh, uh, he, he taught to the people. He made blind people see. He made a lame to walk. He fed 5,000. They still had some left over. That's what he did. Why? Because he's an overcomer. That's what he does. He overcomes. He, he overcomes. And then we, he went to Calvary. Right? And he hung there. Right? They put stakes in his hands. And they put stakes in his feet. And they hung him there between two thieves. Huh? They thought that they were going to shame him. They thought they were going to shame him. Well, he's not shameable. No, no. no, no he's there for a purpose. Because I'm here to overcome. That's what he said. And guess what? He held his head between the locks of his shoulders. He six in the ninth hour. He, he, he gave up the ghost. He gave him the ghost. And, and the people were saying, oh, he's not the overcomer we thought he was. Oh, he, he ain't who you thought he was. He ain't who you thought he was. But guess what? He was put in a ball too. He was there the first day, that Friday, Friday afternoon, Friday night, late Friday night, early Saturday morning, like early in the morning, Saturday morning, Saturday uh, noonday, Saturday evening, uh, Saturday late night, uh, Saturday, Saturday late late night. You know the time when you started going out. Late, late night. Ah, but early on Sunday morning. Early on Sunday morning. Early on Sunday morning. He got up. Twelve power. And heaven and earth. Why? Because he's an overcomer. And he's there to help you overcome what it is that you need to overcome. Why? Because he wants you in heaven. He's an overcomer. And we have overcoming instincts. But we just have to stay on track. And we have to have our faith in him. Our faith must be steadfast. We must keep our eye on the prize, and the prize is heaven. Yeah. Nothing is equatable to heaven. Nothing is as good as heaven. Nothing you're going through can beat heaven. The doors of the church are open. The doors of the church are open. I don't know if you're here to join our church. New Life Everybody's Baptist Church is a wonderful church to be a member of. You may also be here to be baptized. We'd love to baptize you. I mean, so that you become a member of our church. Amen. I mean, you also could be here because you are, you'd like to be under watch care and want us to pray for you while you're here. You're here only temporarily and you want us to pray for you and watch over you. We'd love to be able to do that as well. But regardless of your situation, there's two chairs down here being placed before you so that you can come and express yourself accordingly. While we hear from the choir,
have one that wants to come forward. Amen. 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 Brother McKin. Amen. 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 Brother James McKinley has been a minister of music for three, four months now. Amen. And uh, he, he, he is exactly what we prayed for. Yes. He is exactly what we prayed for when, when we were praying. Exactly. He came and he's given his heart to the church, to the music ministry. Um, and they told me we were in for something from where he came from. They said, that's the real brother right there. And so he wants to come forward and give us. Amen. Won't you come and All right. have a. Amen. 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 Yes. I'm asking Miss Brown to come because she came yes. Sunday before last. Right? right. right? And, then, and so I didn't get a chance to. Um, have her speak in that Amen. time. All right. So uh, I went to do that, to that today. You know, Amen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I can't hear myself. And so let me let me go ahead and just allow them to speak first. Okay. Let me. Okay. Okay. She wants him to speak. First. <laughs> <laughs> right. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I just want to say that uh, I'm ever since the first day I stepped through those doors. I feel very welcomed by everybody. Amen. Amen. Uh, to, uh, since I'm putting all my effort here at this church and I'm working in the next church, this is where I need to have my membership. Amen. 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 I want to make sure right now that we give you the right hand of fellowship. Amen. We're glad you're here. You have made a huge impact so far. Amen. No greater thing is because we know God is in you. Yeah. And God is here in you, Mike. Amen. So you, this is the right hand of fellowship. You are a part of this family. Amen. As we come forward. Thank you so much. Amen. Good morning, church. Good morning. I'm really grateful. Um, every day I wake up, I got to the last week, and I struggle every day looking for. Um, but I'm looking because I'm going to find it. All right. Um, Amen. And I started when I came here when I heard that my cousin had came to this church. Um, and I was really happy because when I walked through the doors, I was happy because when I walked through the doors the first time, guys, it reminded me of where I come from. Mm -hmm. um, my little old church, Rock Quarry, the little old building that was there. And when I come in, even all down to the seats, and then when I look up here, it just made the icing on the cake even better. Amen. All right. <laughs> and you guys, you know, all of you guys, when I first came the very first day, y'all made me feel so welcome. And then when I looked and seen my Amy standing on the door as well, it was like, okay, God. You try to tell me something. So I just kept coming back and kept coming back and kept coming back. And every time I came back, you guys was the same. Y'all was loving. All right. Y'all was caring. Y'all was welcoming me back. Um, and y'all haven't missed a beat since I've been coming. Amen. And I appreciate y'all because that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for truth, 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 truth. Amen. 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 Let me make sure I give you the right hand of fellowship as well. Know and let you know that you are welcome here. You are a part of our family. Amen. Okay, you are part of the New Light Ebenezer Baptist Church family. Amen. Right. She has gotten busy already. She's up in a choir. Amen. She knew where she wanted to go. Amen. So she's up there with her cousin as well. So Amen. Uh, we thank you both uh, for um, for your service and the things that we know God is going to do through you all. Uh, thank you for being here. You could have you could have gone any place now, but you you came here. God led you here. Amen. So we're thankful to God. Amen. Right. We are thankful to God. Right. Thank you so much. And you can go back Thank to your place. You. Thank God. Amen. 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 Get up. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, now we are up to our uh, point that we're going to have for communion service, okay? All right? We're going to have communion service. So let me, so let us uh, take away the chairs. Thank you so much, ushers. Amen. Thank you so much. Um, let's make sure. Everybody got the elements? So let us pray. You want something? Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. We'll wait. No, no problem. We're not, we're not in a hurry. Not on this. So let us pray first, okay? Amen. Our Father and our God, we thank you, the Lord, for this part of our service uh -huh. to recognize you yeah. Yeah. for what you did that we did not deserve uh -huh. right. Right. you gave up yourself and for our sins and and uh, we couldn't have given anything that we had to match so you're matchless yes sir in our lives. Uh -huh. And so we just want to say thank you. Thank you. And in this ordinance, we recognize what you did uh -huh. and how you did. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. I'll, this is the Lord's Supper. You, you, you need, you, anybody else needs one? Everybody else got one? Okay. Okay. As I recite here, I'm reciting the Lord's Supper coming out of 1 Corinthians 11 and 23. It says, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus Christ the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, do this do in remembrance of me. Let's take the bread now this time, and let's go ahead and eat it. And I'll give you a chance to prepare your, to open your container. And it says, after the same manner, also, he took the cup when he had supped and saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do he as oft as he drink it in remembrance of me. Take the cup, we drink it. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink of this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till I come. Amen? Amen. 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 Let us prepare for dismissal. There's anything else? Okay. Nothing else?
also say that we welcome this couple that came in uh, after the welcome. Thank you all for thank you all for being here. This couple that's sitting Amen. that's been here this morning. Thank you all for coming. Um, we're glad that you're here. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before his presence with exceeding great joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. And we all sing together. Thank you and you are dismissed.